All right, all right, I know. I already know what you're probably gonna say. It's not quite Halloween yet. However, it is September, which means we're just that much closer to Halloween. And I feel pretty confident that most people are probably gonna be okay with it uh, being a little bit early. Because Halloween is a great time. It's a fun time. It's a very spooky time. And that's probably about like my favorite time of year because that just means that it's a little bit closer to fall. I love fall. If you know me, then you know that I love fall. If you don't know me, well now you know that I love fall. So uh, that's a thing. I'm, I'm gonna be changing the background for about like every season that happens. Uh, so for now, it's gonna be a Halloween background because it's fall and Welcome to the video. So getting back on track a little bit, yes, I do have a little bit of a Halloween theme going here, and it's probably gonna stick around for, you know, the rest of this month and next month until Halloween actually happens. Uh, I don't have a whole lot planned as far as spooky videos go. I'm gonna be trying to do quite a few things, so uh, just be on the lookout for that. But I do have this room set up now to be doing some of these types of videos in, and uh, for the first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at couple different kind of candies which I'm actually really excited to try uh me and me and one of my friends actually went to this like secondhand store and they had just what you're seeing here so if you can see we've got a gummy burger which actually looks pretty heckin tasty I want to take it apart so that I can see exactly what's all in it because it's fairly big compared to like the Krabby Patties that you would get from like a dollar store. Then you've also got this gummy sushi mix. I, I don't know, it's, I, I think you're supposed to like dip something in things. I don't know if it's just all gummies. I haven't opened these yet, so I'm not entirely sure. Then you've also got a thing of candy noodles, which I'm also really excited to try. And then this one last thing right here, which is uh, a, a corn. Uh, I figured it'd be kind of a little bit cool for for fall. It doesn't really fit the theme of candy, but I do want to make it because right now I'm actually craving popcorn, and that's exactly what this is. So it is a uh, a popcorn that pops right on the cob, which is interesting because I had no idea that there was actually a thing like this. Uh, it comes with its own little bag and whatnot, and I'm really really excited to do that. So we're also going to show that on video as well. So. There's that. Uh, we're gonna be breaking right into these things. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get a little plate and we're gonna just do our thing. Okay, so here's the thing. I, I really wanna break into these things, but I also kind of want you guys to uh, view this a little bit closer. So I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit closer to me. That way you guys can actually see what's kind of happening on the desk. So let's, okay. So I'm not going to worry too terribly much about uh, the way that this is going to end up kind of, God, I know my nails look really, really bad, so hopefully you guys kind of forgive me for that. I haven't painted them in a little bit, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up. We're going to see exactly what this is about. So actually, uh, what does it say here? Uh, all three of these are made by the Raindrops Company, which is really, really cool. Um, I, I want to try and see where more of this comes from. I've never seen these before. Excuse me, this is very loud. Now that we can get this really, really loud wrapper out of the way, here's what we got going on here. Uh, we've got, looks like uh, some, some gummy fish on some tofu, I'm guessing. Uh, I am not very well versed in what is essentially supposed to be sushi. Oh, okay, come, come on, come on. Oh, it's a marshmallow. I can already feel it. I mean, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really excited to try this out. Um, so I'm guessing it's a gummy bear wrapped in like a, a what is that? It's like one of those, uh, it's like one of those peach rings, I think, but it's like lime, I'm sure. I, I don't know. This looks like a dot. If you know what a dot is, uh, that's, that's pretty much what that is with some candy stuff wrapped around it. This is basically a what is this uh those little sour strips that you find in the store wrapped around a, a marshmallow essentially and my hands are gonna get so sticky i already know it um 
And then, <laughs> that's so funny. It's like little licorice of sorts. That's really, really cool. And these are just like little gummies in there. Then of course, like I said, the, uh, I've never actually seen these before. Um, oh, they don't come off very easily. Um, I've never actually seen these kinds of gummy fish before, honestly. So I'm not sure what those are, or where those come from. And uh, hopefully everything is in frame for you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check. I needed to be over just a teeny tiny bit. Um, trying to get used to this setup a little bit more. Um, I, I have a, a new camera that I'm using, which is really, really cool. I'm super excited to be using it because it's a lot higher quality as well. So you guys should be able to see most things. I'm very sorry for the noise outside. I don't know what the hell is going on out there actually. Oh, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's storming outside actually. So that's cool. You get to hear a little bit of a storm. So as you can see, the next thing that we're gonna be trying is this, uh, this candy noodles here. And uh, it does have all the ingredients on the side here. As you can see, I did do a close-up shot of it so that you guys can see it. But let's see, there are candy shrimps, candy noodles, candy egg, candy vegetables, and uh, candy topping. Okay, I am actually really excited for this one, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open it up. <laughs> Look at me not knowing how to open up one of these things. All right, come on. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like, it's just all in like one thing. And you just kinda, oh, you assemble it. It's essentially just a bunch of, that's really, really cool actually. So I think, I don't think you're supposed to put it back in the box. Um, but I mean, that's really, really cool. I might assemble that on a plate for you guys just to kinda get uh, a pretty decent look at it. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open uh, this burger as well because I really, I really, really wanted to get into this. This is one of the ones that I was really, really excited for. The sushi stuff is one thing, but these are uh, like gummy, gummy hamburgers, like gummy food like this has, has always been my thing. I, I have loved it ever since I was a little kid. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of bringing out my inner child here and hey, you know, it's, it's going to be Halloween in another month here. So I might as well get started a little bit early, right? If I can open this. If you're a parent, you certainly would not have to worry about your kid trying to open it because that plastic is a little ridiculous. Okay, so oh, there is an ingredient list here as well. There is six sweet candy buns, six uh, candy cheese and sauce. <laughs> Do you see that? I'm sure. Uh, you get five beef patties. Uh, I mean, it's just a little beef patty bites. Uh, four candy salads. It just looks like a cucumber to be honest with you or maybe a pickle and then uh, One out of three candy toppings, which is actually really really cool. I'm guessing there's the there's a the little tomato There's the uh, I'm guessing like the weird lettuce stuff and then more lettuce uh, I don't know what purple lettuce is honestly. I don't eat enough vegetables and I know that's terrible. Wow Oh my god That's actually kind of crazy Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting that to be the actual bun on the bottom, but that's just straight up plastic underneath there. Okay. All right, I see you. I see you. Just chimping out on us. Not cool, not cool, but also still really exciting. Oh my God, that storm is, that storm is just uh, raging on outside right now. I'm already really excited to eat it, let's see. Oh yeah, you can see like underneath there's the gummy bears. Those are so funny. They're supposed to be your cheese. And then you've got, uh, there's that weird purple lettuce stuff. What the hell is that called? I don't know what that's called. Um, you've also got the little meat patties underneath there. And then of course you've got your uh, pickles or your cucumbers, whatever you would rather have on your burger, I guess. I don't know anybody that eats cucumbers on their burgers, but hey, I'm not gonna judge anybody, okay? We're gonna just leave it as it is. So uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna turn this thing around and I'm gonna let you guys see my reaction. Look at this all plated up for you. So I put everything on a plate. I was a little cheesy about it. I wanted to make it look as good as possible. But let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna stop uh, trying to distract myself from eating all this. I really wanna get down and I really wanna try it. Now, I think the first thing I'm actually going to try are these because I know what they are. They're, like I said, those little uh, strips of like sugar, so it's not sour. I'm really hesitant to 
to really see like this thing, uh, the little gummy bear one, I know is gonna be sour and I absolutely hate sour food. So I'm not looking forward to it, but bottoms up. Oh, I was wrong about that one. That's sour. I feel it all right here. Oh, right underneath my ears. I'm going to cheer it up a little bit. Oh, my mouth is watering like crazy because of that. I'm going to go for a dot and hopefully these aren't sour. <laughs> why does it have to be? Why do it have to be sour? All right. I found it really hard to eat. I shouldn't talk with my mouth full, I'm sorry. You know what it actually reminds me of? It actually, these these remind me of a uh, nerd's rope. It's literally the same consistency, along with like the outer coating of it. It's like nerds on a nerd rope, except it's in dot form. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't actually that bad. I, I don't mind dots. Dots are not the worst thing in the world, so I can't complain. Uh, uh. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I can't bite it. That is so tough. Oh, and it's sour too. This fish thing is so hard to bite into. It's so hard. It's not like hard, hard as in like it's like stale. It's hard as in it's like one of those gummies. Like, uh, what can I compare it to? Uh, I wouldn't say Swedish fish, because Swedish fish I actually enjoy a lot and sometimes they're really gummy. But it has that same type of consistency, it's just a lot harder. Um, I can still like shape it and stuff, so I know it's not stale. It's just, it's it's a really, really hard type of gummy. I don't know how to explain it. I'm gonna save that one for last because I'm dreading it. I know it's gonna be sour and I'm gonna be such a wuss about it. Now, I'm guessing this is pretty much, um, I like this little container, that's so cute. Uh, I'm guessing this is probably gonna be the exact same as these like noodles over here. So, it's so weird. I think this is supposed to be soy sauce. You put like soy sauce on top of something. And, ooh. Ooh, it smells really, it smells really, really good. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mix it, I'm gonna put soy sauce on this thing and we're gonna, we're just gonna, eat it all together because like why not that's what it's meant to be right 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 i'm right <laughs> this isn't meant to be a challenge i need a drink why didn't i grab a drink i figure since i'm being incredibly unhealthy right now by eating all these gummy snacks i'm gonna actually drink some water proper to be exact not sponsored I love Propel. These are, these literally are uh, Welch's fruit snacks, essentially. They're like those little berry ones. They look like berries, so. I know those are gonna be okay. Mm-hmm. So the last thing we actually have to eat, or I guess try on this plate, since I'm probably not gonna end up eating the rest of this sushi stuff, is gonna be the hamburger. And that's like, one of the things that I was like actually really, really excited to try. So it's it's really funny because they're like cut like little like pizza pieces almost like. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's literally the same topping as the uh, Krabby Patties, which is which is really cool because um, you know those things are incredibly small. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually disassemble this. I'm um, gonna put all these over off to the side. I know I should probably take a bite out of it. You really? You get one? You get one? Well, I did say it was one out of three. That's so stupid. You get one? That's, ah, oh, it smells so weird. It actually, it has the same, it, it does not look gummy. It, it retracts very fast as well. So it's kind of weird. It's got a little bit of green in it. Uh-oh, I think we got a moldy lettuce. What is, what is purple? Yeah, that's really hard. Again, not hard that it's stale, but a hard gummy. 
I was actually kind of excited to try one of these like little gummy bears with like the cheese on the back of it. It's not actual cheese, obviously, but it's still, it's kind of funny. They're very, they're very gummy, honestly. They, they squish pretty decently and take quite a while to, as if I'm like a gummy connoisseur or something like that. I do eat quite a bit of them whenever I get the chance to pick some up, which isn't honestly very often. But when I'm able to, I will get a big pack just because I absolutely love gummy stuff. But it certainly does not love me, so. Mm. Mm hmm. What I actually really like to know is like whether these are whether these are meant like are these are these from the actual company like does the company make them or do they get all of the gummies from like the certain place like because some of these are some of these are very reminiscent of like a uh, popular candy that you would just buy individually like you know the peeps you got these gummy bears which uh like who is it uh trolley i think sells a kind of gummy bear that's like this i want to try one of these oh the patties are actually the same the same thing as the um it smells exactly the same as well they're literally pretty much the same thing as the uh whatchamacallit it's the that lettuce that i just ate the purple thing which yeah there's not a whole lot of coming there sir hmm I don't know why. I don't know why, but that tastes like Coca-Cola. Obviously, it's not supposed to taste like meat, because that would be disgusting, but... That tastes like Coca-Cola. That's actually really, really good. I won't complain about that. I actually... One of my favorite... One of my favorite candies is, uh, this is, this, this gotta be cucumber. This gotta be cucumber. One of my favorite, uh, types of candies is actually, uh, bottle caps. Bottle caps are just so good. And I know there's a lot of people who are very like, oh, that's disgusting. They're so chalky. It's basically like eating chalk. It's like, no, they actually have like taste. I mean, you can't get the gross ones. Like I'm not a really big fan of the cherry, but there's cola, which is really, really good. Uh, I, I actually, I believe it's like root beer or something like that. And then there is a cola. Uh, I think that's like the red, red one. Um, and then you've also got like grape and orange, which like grape and orange, obviously. That's basically sun-kissed and Fanta, essentially, which is cool. This is so weird. It's, I'm guessing it's a pickle. It has to be a pickle, but it looks like a cucumber. It's literally a cucumber. I'm satisfied with the hamburger. Sushi, not so much. A lot of sour stuff in the sushi. Wasn't the best. So the last thing we actually have to try, which honestly, it's pretty much gonna be a lot of the same things as this. Uh, the shrimp are actually a different type of consistency, to be honest with you. So as you can see, it's not like, it's it's got like this weird type of like flattish texture. It's like, I don't even know. I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, it's, it's got a weird texture to it. Does not taste like shrimp. Gross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I can see the lady in the tramp doing this thing with the noodles. Hmm. It's kind of funny. Maybe it's because I've eaten so much of the gummy stuff, maybe that sour stuff kind of choked my taste buds. But honestly, this doesn't have a flavor to it. It just feels like I'm eating a string. It doesn't taste like it, but it feels like I'm eating a string. Maybe if I grab like a whole bunch of the yellow one, it'll have like a taste to it. But that last one did not have taste to it at all. <laughs> my beautiful presentation. Yeah, I don't. I don't taste that at all. I, I don't taste it at all. It just doesn't have a taste. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the sour thing really did mess up my taste buds. I have no idea. 
I can taste the I can taste the hamburger thing. Totally fine. That was actually pretty tasty. Oh, that's weird. Ooh. Okay. Mmm. I know what these remind me of. It's actually one of my favorite, uh, another one of my favorite candies. Um, it's uh, by Willy Wonka. It sounds so funny saying it's by Willy Wonka. It's, it's a Willy Wonka product. Um, the sweet tart ropes or the sweet rope or whatever, the tart ropes. Um, it's like this like long, it's just this long one rope with like a, a weird type of filling inside. It's not bad. The filling is actually like a, like a, like a really, really soft filling, but the outside is like more hard, like a licorice. Then the inside is supposed to be like a very soft type of almost sort of sour, but still really, really sweet kind of thing. So it's not sour enough for me to hate it. I honestly really don't want to eat the egg just because it's, it looks so cool. It literally looks like an egg, but you know, you gotta eat it all. You know what would have made that like 10 times better, honestly? And I'm sure there's no way they would do this. Is if they had actually, um, is if they had actually like made the middle, like had, had like a gooey kind of center. It really, really surprises me that more candy people don't actually like try to make a thing out of like gummy foods to like really represent it a lot more. So like an egg, you know, an easy side up egg having the gooey center inside of it and stuff. And maybe there is, maybe, I, maybe I'm uh, just saying stuff because I just don't know. Uh, I haven't really been around the world a whole lot. So maybe there is something like that. And honestly, I would eat this, but I'm kind of all sugared out. I know what peeps taste like, and that's literally a peep. It is marshmallow, it's white on the inside, and it's got that sugar on the outside. So, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say all in all, this was actually pretty decent. It's it's not bad. Um, I kind of wish the noodles would have had an actual flavor to them, but they really don't. My hands are super sticky right now though. It's very unfortunate. But you know what? We do have a little bit of extra time to go ahead and do this. So let's go cook this real quick. Okay, so it did leave a little bit of a mess inside of my uh, actual, oh, that's really cool. It did leave a little bit of a mess inside of my uh, microwave, uh, just mostly from like the steam and stuff like that. That's okay, I cleaned it up really quick. But this is really interesting. Is this hot? Ooh, that is hot. Oh, that's so weird. I need like a tongs to kind of like grab this out with. Okay. That's so weird. It like, some of it's stuck on here. I'm gonna try to get most of it off and not make a mess on this desk, hopefully. I'll place that over off to the side here, but. 
There's actually quite a bit of popcorn in there. It's about like up to right here for the bag, so if you can kind of see it. That's kind of how much popcorn it made, like right up to there. So that's that's actually pretty decent. What I am gonna do, however, is I, I buy this uh, for when I for when I make my own popcorn, even the stuff that I get, like regular popcorn that's like buttery. Um, I still end up putting this on there because I'm fat and I like butter. It's America. But I'm gonna put a bunch of this in there. We're just gonna mix her up. <laughs> Look at how, first of all, I got it all over my desk. Secondly, look <laughs> look how much it ruined the bag already. Just from having that little bit. You know what? We're gonna put more because more butter is always better. I really wanna give it a try now that it has the butter on it and see how it is. Honestly, it kinda tastes like uh, movie theater popcorn. Mm-hmm. I know that they don't use those in movie theaters, but that's how it tastes. I'm gonna go get something else. Okay. First of all, Clorox wipes, because I'm making a heckin' mess. I have this. This is theater style uh, spray, which is actually really, really good. I like this stuff. I like this stuff a lot more than the old, oh, that. I like this stuff a lot more than the Orville Redenbacher's uh, butter stuff, because it's, it's just, this is so messy, but, this look at that oh it even smells good i could probably spray this in my mouth and i'd be happy but you know what we're not animals here so taste that oh there we go yep yep that's what it needed well you know what i feel pretty accomplished today i set out what i made to do try a bunch of junk food try this uh, which actually, the bag looks disgusting, but you know what? That's the price we pay when we want to eat a lot of butter. So uh, that's basically what this is. And I'm making a mess all over my desk, so I'm gonna clean that. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go eat this uh, while watching some Netflix probably. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, go ahead and leave a like. I'm gonna get going. Good later, peeps.